Good evening, everybody. You are watching America First. My name is Nicholas J. Fuentes. We have a great show for you tonight. Very excited. Lots to talk about. We've got a packed, high-energy show for you tonight. And, uh, man, this one might get me in a little bit of trouble. I know I've said some controversial things before. The show is no stranger to controversy. Neither am I. In fact, me and controversy... We know each other very intimately, very sensual ways. We are familiar with one another. But this one, this show, and it's been reported all over the place, but uh, what we're going to talk about with Canary Mission later on in the show might get me killed. So, you know, before I start the show, I do have to whip out this little disclaimer here and say, I am not depressed. I am a safe driver. I don't have any heart conditions. I don't have any addictions. I'm not an alcoholic, all right? So if you hear anything in the news in the next week or so that says, like, Nick accidentally drove into a river or, uh, you know, Nick met a stranger in the woods and suicided himself. Suicided himself. You know, just, you got to remember, I'm in great mental shape. I'm in great physical shape. Uh, probably not going to leave the house anytime soon. So, so keep that in mind. I have to say though, I mean, the big news of the day is this hurricane, which I guess came out of nowhere. And I don't know the storm coverage to me is just all lies. I think it just kind of goes to show that science is basically bullshit. They're telling us, because we hear all this stuff about climate change, and there was a big bombshell report about climate change by the UN, which was just published this week, actually. And whenever that happens, there's all this talk about how we're going to reduce the temperature of the planet. And they're making these projections based on 50, 100 years, what the temperature is going to be within, uh, you know, degrees of certainty in terms of, like, temperature. And we have to implement certain policies in order to reduce this much CO2 or greenhouse gases. And as a result, we'll reduce the temperature by this much. And I think to myself, you don't even know anything about hurricanes. We don't know if it's Category 5 or if it's 4 or 3 or if it's a tropical storm, if it's going this way or that way within a day. And you're telling me that we know what the temperature is going to be in 100 years and we know exactly projections, exactly projections, projections, exactly what policy and how much gas to cut in order to reduce the temperature by a fret. It's, uh, give me a break. Science is dumb and it's wrong. Science is is dumb and it's wrong. Science is dumb and it's wrong. Every time I have a question about science, whether it's like a health issue or, you know, I'll just have, I'm a curious person. I'll be like, why is there lightning? What is lightning? And I'll look it up and it's like, yeah, no one really knows. Think of it as clouds dancing around so vigorously that the poor little frozen raindrops inside keep bumping into each other. No one really knows. Positively charged protons build up at the top of the cloud and negatively charged electrons form at the bottom. No one really knows. Opposites attract, so the negatively charged electrons then attract positive protons from the nearest thing below it. No one really knows. Up until it's just too much to handle and Nobody really knows. There's just, do you guys know anything? All these lab coat people bossing us around, telling us how we should run our country. You know, there was that thing in the BBC the other week where you had some Iraqi tranny saying, oh, well, quantum physics tells me that I don't have to be a boy or a girl. You know, these people like Neil deGrasse Tyson and others, they're going to look down on us. So, you know, you guys with your Bible and so on, at least we have a coherent and complete worldview, and we've got most of the answers, basically, at least functionally enough to go about our dates. That sounds kind of... Dum, 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 dum. And these empiricists, the natural science people, they don't, they don't have a clue. They don't have a clue. So that's, that's I guess, the, the rant of the day, because I see the hurricane stuff, and with Florence, it's like storm of the century, worst storm ever in the southeast of the United States, and by the time it makes landfall, it's a tropical storm. Really? People are fleeing, the stores are out of supplies, and it's a tropical storm. And then with this one, it's like within two hours, it's going to be a Category 5, it's crazy, and then it's a, you know, Category 2, I think, by now. That's all, it's all just a farce. It's all a farce. They're trying to control you. They just lie to you. Everything's lies. Anyway. 
So that's that's the hurricane. We're not going to talk about that. I'm not a meteorologist. I don't, I don't believe in all that garbage. I'm not a meteorologist. You know, the moon affects us. That's about as far as I'll go in terms of celestial bodies matter, all right? But beyond that, you've lost me. No shit, Sherlock. Like I said, you know, my heart is beating. Uh, there's no problems with my heart. I'm not going to have a heart attack. I'm 20 years old. I'm not diabetic. Excuse me. I don't have any brain things going on. I'm a pretty safe driver. I don't drink. I'm not depressed. Uh, you know, I've never had suicidal thoughts. So if you see anything like that, you got to pass the show around. It'll be like my, you know, my big moment. This is where you'll spread the manifesto. So, but that's okay. I'll try and be as careful as possible this week. So hope you enjoyed that. I'll be trying to stay safe. So if you ever had a spiritual or spiritually miraculous experience at any point in your life, no, no, nothing like that, which I think surprises people because I, you know, am very strongly Catholic and I've never had, I've really never had a religious experience. I really have just come to my convictions based on what I instinctually feel to be true and what makes sense and what makes sense and what makes sense. But no, I've never really had anything like that happen to me. And that's really what strikes me is just how unexceptional, unremarkable these people are. You know, I would get it if it was like I couldn't compete. You know, if I tried my best to break into politics, and but I just wasn't that talented. And that's why I couldn't get in. I couldn't compete with the big dogs. But you look at the people that are that are the, the biggest political people and their mediocrities in every aspect, in terms of the substance, in terms of the delivery, in terms of the content. It's pathetic. And here I am, you know, with, with actual real interesting thoughts and well-delivered and so on. And it's funny, it's entertaining, and uh, totally sidelined. Conservative Review TV, I hammer them all the time. And Jared Holt always types away and says, you know, oh, well. Nick is just jealous. Or, you know, whatever. Uh, it's just frustrating that clearly there's not a meritocracy at work. Because you see the people that run these shows and... There's nothing new going on there. There's nothing entertaining going on there. A lot of it's just obligatory. They've got their black woman on there. They've got their whatever. And uh, they're, they're blonde millennial. So it's just kind of a joke. But that'll change. Oh, and people are just really trying hard to get my goat. We were having such a good show. We were in such high spirits. And then, man, people just love to, uh, to, <laughs> to rile me up. They love to, they know all the right buns to push. I'm, it's really hard for me not to be convinced that there is some very intelligent operation designed to induce a mental breakdown because I can't tell you, like, the things that I say bother me the most, I get more of it every day. Everybody watches the show. We like you. We love you. Science is dumb and it's wrong. 